This lecture is on securing Azure OpenAI. Before we go into Azure OpenAI, let's look at the private endpoint. A private endpoint is a network interface that uses a private IP address from the virtual network. Private endpoints enable connectivity between customers from the same virtual network, regionally peered virtual networks, globally peered virtual networks, on-premises environments that use VPN or express route and services that are powered by private link. So now that we know about private endpoints, we'll see of how we will use private endpoints with Azure OpenAI. Now, if you have an Azure OpenAI resource with a private endpoint and I am accessing from the internet, it is not allowed. That means if I have the access key and the endpoint of the Azure OpenAI and I am in my machine which is not in the Azure and I'm trying to access it, you will not be allowed. But say suppose if you are having an Azure OpenAI resource without a private endpoint, then if I access it from the internet, it is allowed. So let us demonstrate this with a practical practical demonstration. So let's go into my Azure subscription and I have got my Azure resource with Azure private endpoint. And here in the networking tab, you can see that this is disabled, right? Disabled and I have a private endpoint connection. And how do you do that? It's very simple. You just add a private endpoint and then you carry on and it will ask you and it you can do that. Now, now what I have done here is that so let's go to that networking, uh, networking tab. So this private endpoint is configured and if you click on the private endpoint, it is associated with a virtual network. And it also has a network interface and it shows a private link resource, which is my Azure OpenAI resource. So this is an Azure OpenAI resource associated with a private endpoint. Now let's see that there can be Azure resources like this one, OpenAI Demo 007. So here, if I go to the networking tab here, you will see that it does not have a private endpoint. It allows access from all networks. So what we'll do here is try to access both of these through a program. And the program is running in my machine. So here I am. It is, it is in my machine here. And what I have done here is that I have, I will invoke the Azure OpenAI. I have a context, I have a context and the context is very interesting. It is about the 2020 Summer Olympics high jump event. And interestingly, in this, in this high jump event, two people won the gold, not one person. And so therefore we ask it that who won the gold in the high jump event at the 2020 Summer Olympics. And then I go ahead and ask this question, and uh, now in the config, so if I go into the generate uh, reply from context, you will see that here I'm using a deployment ID and this deployment ID is obtained from my config file. Now in the config file, I have now used a deployment ID with a model without a private endpoint. That means I'm using this scenario that this scenario is being used here. And let's see what happens. So. So let's run this application here. So let's clear all the outputs and let's run it. So it is GPT-35 and it gives the answer. Now what I'll do now is that I'll flip it to, a, to an endpoint which uses a private endpoint. So let's go to my config here and, and just I'll flip it. Here I am flipping it and now what I'll do is that I'll run it now. Clear all the outputs and I'll run it. I think we should restart it once more so that it picks up from there. So here it is picking up. So let's clear the outputs. Now, you see that I am using a deployment ID of private model here. And what it is happening is that it is giving me 
a permission error, which is public access is disabled, please configure a private endpoint. Now, so that brings us to this concept that what we have explained here. Now, let's go to this concept here. Now, I'm in Azure and I'm having an Azure OpenAI resource with a private endpoint and my virtual machine is in that virtual network, VNet1. And what would happen is that I'm allowed into the Azure OpenAI resource for that. So let's jump in and see it. And before that, we would also not demonstrate this, but what can happen is that, say suppose you have a VNet1 where the Azure OpenAI resource is there. You can have a VNet2 where there is a virtual machine, but there is a VNet peering between the two virtual networks but still it might be allowed this i will not demonstrate i will demonstrate this scenario where the azure openai resource has a private endpoint it is in a virtual network and my virtual machine is in the same virtual network as that of the azure openai resource and we will see this in action so let's go to another uh, machine here so this is a machine that i have got so 21 uh, this machine is here and this is my machine here and I have downloaded the code here and what I'll do is that we'll use a deployment ID with a model with a private endpoint so let's flip it so let's go here um, the query so So here, what we will do is that we'll restart it just, just to ensure that the environment variables are picked up. Now let's run it and see here that I'm using a private endpoint and I'm running it from the uh, machine here, which is in the Azure. And you find that the deployment ID is private model and it is giving me the answer. You can see the difference here with the private model, I'm getting an answer, but in the private model, which is in my machine here, which is in my machine here, I'm getting an error. The difference is that this code, which is running from this place, it is running from, from this virtual machine here. And that is why it is giving a positive result. So, this brings us to the end of this lecture. Hope you liked it. Thank you. Bye.